334 is a vertical background. Acts 10, 34, 35, and 36 together. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of the truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation that either fears him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. Why did verse 34, why did Peter begin by this perception? Is that no respecter of persons. Why did he mention that idea? Because he's there in the, in the presence of these these Gentiles. Were there very many? Just a few? Like a handful? <coughs> Everyone was Gentile. Look Same at way. verse 27. How many were there? What does it say about the numbers that were there? 1027. Many. many were come together. So, And they were Gentiles. Now, before the Lord revealed this to Peter, uh, what do you think of the Gentiles? Should Jews have anything to do with Gentiles? No. no. How did God change his mind? The vision. Had a vision. And in that vision, what did he see? A sheep. A sheep? And what was in that sheep? Unclean. All kinds of animals. All manner of beasts. Yeah, clean and unclean. And what did God tell Peter to do? Slay and eat. Slay Did Peter say, okay, I ask her. Did he say yes? No. <laughs> no, he said. Not immediately. I've never eaten anything. Not like so. Not so. <laughs> anyway. But that's how he saw it. He finally got it through his brain. The Lord had everybody's clean. He could go to the this Cornelius house and speak to the Gentile. Were they, would they have all been unclean beasts that were in there? Well, probably clean. Like they probably a, a mixture. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at that again. They must have been all unclean. Otherwise, why would he have said not so, Lord? Well, never eaten <coughs> Let's, we'll take a look at that as soon as Pastor Dusk got back out of email there. Then we'll take a look. Someone will look that she up. Two things. I'm not sure if the sound has improved or not. She oh. said there was a sound problem. I but uh, I think I made some adjustments. And I haven't yeah. heard back from her yet as far as it's been improved or not. Yeah, I pushed it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, she also has a hymn request for 105. Uh, I guess we missed it during the thing. During the thing. Uh, so maybe we can do that afterwards. At the end. We'll do it after the last one. So if somebody remembers the number. One oh five. Okay. <laughs> All right. So someone look that up as far as the sheet. What chapter of Acts would that be? Take a look at it. Isn't that the same chapter? There's the same chapter. Four footed beasts. Okay. Verse twelve. Verse twelve. What does it say? All manner of four footed beasts of the earth. All manner. And wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. See, probably all manner. That was for us. In other words, he said right. He, he didn't want any unclean ones, whatever they were, for creeping things would be unclean, but it follows the air. Some are clean, some are clean. I would think they would all be unclean. <coughs> it doesn't say this, but by his response, I had never eaten anything that is common or unclean. He couldn't have, he couldn't, he couldn't have been telling him to slay all of them at the same time. It could, them all. it could be. In other words, among those animals, there are unclean animals. We know that. But there are some clean ones that are mixed in. Who knows what? Uh, all kinds, all manners, see? So, probably is all manners. All right. Uh, so, he so he got the picture finally, and he knew that it was all right to deal with the Gentiles. What does it mean, God is no respecter of person? Don't bring that up on Sunday morning message, too, in Romans chapter 1, uh, chapter 2. What does that mean? God is no respecter of person. Bill? He doesn't care if a person is poor or rich, uh, if they have an important uh, political position, or... Uh, if they do something which, uh, for a living which is very modest, mm -hmm. uh, all people are the same in his eyes. Yes, that's very good. That's no respecter of persons. And so he sees the Gentiles are part of the things that God loves. And so he's going to go, because he's in the place of Cornelius, in his house, and he's there in Caesarea. And then in verse number 35, but in every nation, he, he that feareth him. Who's the him referred to there? God. God himself. What does it mean to fear God? To have respect for respect him. Respect is part of it. And actual fear too, isn't it? In other words, knows that he's the one in charge. We've got to be respectful. We've got to be, uh, understand he's powerful. Uh, and worketh righteousness. Now, in the New Testament, what's the only way people can work righteousness? Can people themselves work righteousness? No, God does that. God does that. I mentioned that this, in the sermon this Sunday also. Because... Doing, remember in John chapter 6 it says, What must we do that we must work the works of God? Well, Lord Jesus said, What? Believe. believe. This is the work believe. of God that you believe on Him whom He has sent. 
The only work of God is that you believe. See, God's done the work, the Lord Jesus has done the work, but this work of righteousness, sometimes it's a little confusing, but uh, the only way you can work righteousness is to trust the Savior that can give us righteousness by genuine faith. Isn't that right? Questions at bftbc.org or 856-261-9018. Accept, what does it mean to be accepted with him? With him refers to whom? With God. What does it mean to be accepted? What are people that accept? What does it mean to be accepted? Okay. Fellowship. fellowship with them. You're part of the family. You're saved. You're born again. This is for Christian people. Accepted. Then in verse 36, uh, the word that God sent to the children of Israel. Now, to whom did the Lord Jesus come first and foremost? To this the earth. Jew first. The Jew first. The then to the Gentiles. So, did the Jews receive him? No. As no, no, they crucified him, they rejected him. But some did, that's right, some did. Now, Paul was fine, he did, some of the others. And, uh, but uh, most of the Gentiles. And the children preaching peace. So, what does it mean to be preaching peace? What would that imply? <coughs> between God and us. Well, between God and us. Peace with God. Let's say Romans 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The only way we can have peace with God. Now, do all the people in this world believe that that's the only way? No. Some poor people, some people teach about transcendental meditation. Transcendental meditation, all kinds of different other religions and other toleration. Toleration and that's Muslims and that brings peace. That brings peace. What's that, Anna? Well, you know, there's bumper stickers. I was just thinking stickers. that coexists with all the different religions. Yeah, different things. Yeah. But notice, in this verse, verse 36, what's the only way you're going to get peace with God? <coughs> By, Jesus, By Christ. Jesus Christ. How is that possible? Why is it through Christ that we can get peace with God? <coughs> he died for our sins on the cross. Anna? Do you remember what Neville Chamberlain said? <coughs> No. No, was it never Chamberlain? Tell us. Help us. Peace in our time. We're talking about peace in our time. Negotiating with Hitler. Yeah, some of the people. But this is peace with God. Is that the same as peace with men? No. No. Uh, now, do you think that the people that are killing and slaughtering and beheading and burning alive, the ISIS people, have peace with God? No. No, they have a false God, don't they? False God. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But total deception. Total deception. But with the Lord Jesus Christ coming to him, generally accepting and receiving. The God of this world. They worship the God of this they, world. They have peace with the God peace of this world. Peace with the God of this world. That's right. Satan, he, he loves all the things that are going on. But not with our, our Savior, our God. Uh, peace with God. That's the gospel right there. Isn't it? And then it says, He is Lord of all. What does that mean? Who's the He refer to there? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. What does it mean to be Lord of all? <clears throat> He's over everything. Over everything. Sovereign. Sovereign. Absolutely sovereign. sovereign. Over everything. Part of life. <coughs> all the different religions, all the different things from time and eternity. All right, let's read verse number. Uh, so we read 36. Let's read 37, 38, 39 together. That, that word, I say, ye you know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism was John preached. Now God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all of these things which he did with the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Right, verse 37. The word I say ye know. Where was the word published in verse 37? The scriptural truth of the Lord Jesus. Judea. Judea. Now, Judea would be part of southern, southern two tribes. Southern, southern two tribes, Judea. It's part of the Where Jerusalem is. area. And the Judea. The and then what's the other thing? He also preached from where? Yvonne, Wait, what's it? I want to know published. Does it publish like we mean, or does it just mean seven? Well, what do you think it would be? Proclaimed. Proclaimed, spread abroad, well, talked about, talked about. Talk about. But not in Harold. writing, not in writing. No, 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 no. Just published about throughout all Judea. And, and it began where else? Not only Judea, but okay. where is Galilee. Galilee from Jerusalem? Where is it? North. 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 Yes, the map is right back here. But uh, okay. it used to be here, but we've yeah, got something else for Pastor Dan's class. 
He's got about six more classes that we finished. Come back to Mac. Because we have the posters. You have the posters. Yes. All right. So also Galilee. Uh, after the baptism, which John preached. Baptist. Who's this John? John the Baptist. John the Baptist. So what kind of baptism did he preach? Baptist repentance. Baptist repentance by immersion. That's right. But he was trying to lead people to come to the Savior. He was a forerunner, wasn't he? And what did the Lord Jesus say if he were to receive it? Who was it? If you were to receive him. Who would John is here. Yeah, if you receive John, he would be similar to what? First Elijah. Elijah. If you receive it. Because Elijah is going to be sent before the Lord comes back another time and similar preach. To. So Elijah, yes, Ma? Remember when we went to Dr. Marmar, I think, he sort of mentioned about at the at uh, Passover time or something, they look for Elijah to come. Yeah, I guess and one of the Jewish... Do you know about the MPC? MPC? Yeah. Is there Elijah? At the Seder. At the Seder, huh? So, that, so wait yeah. a minute, you went to a Seder? No, 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 that's at the Seder, that's what they say. Dr. What Dr. Marmar said too. No, Anna said it's at the MPC. She didn't go, but she knows about no, it, right? They, they leave a seat empty for Elijah. Right. And then, then, then do they not have someone knock at the door? I can't remember. They look for Elijah, the children. I can't remember all this. There's all Pardon? kinds of things they do. It's symbolic. Yeah. I've been to Seders. They're really neat. It's interesting. Messianic so, Seders. So, so John the Baptist preached, and it says here, from the time that John mm -hmm. uh, preached, uh, they Publish abroad the things of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, verse number 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. What does anointing mean? Set apart, holy. Set apart, make holy. In the Old Testament, In what kind of people were anointed? Kings. Priests. Prophets. Prophets. Priests. 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 And kings. And kings. All anointed. What does that anointing mean? <coughs> Set apart and given Set power apart. to do it and authority to do authority it. Authority and blessing of the Lord is part of the Lord's work. Isn't it? So here, <coughs> anointed, who did the Lord anoint here? Verse 38. Jesus of Nazareth. Why, why is he called Jesus of Nazareth? Because that's where he was. That's where he was. He, he lived, he brought up, he was brought up there. He yeah. was brought up in Nazareth, but he was born and where? people thought he was in Bethlehem. 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 Now, what do some people think Nazareth is? When they say he should be called a Nazarene, what does Nazarene, some people misinterpret that as? A Nazarite. A Nazarite. Not a Nazarite, but mm -hmm. Nazarene be in the city of Nazareth. He is brought up in Nazareth. So that's what it is. So he's Jesus, anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Now, uh, anointed with the Holy Ghost. What, in that, what is that? What took place? The Lord Jesus was anointed the Holy with the Holy Ghost. All right. He was <laughs> empowered. And remember, where, when did this take place with the Lord Jesus? When he was baptized. He was baptized. That's right. Everyone was yeah. open. That's what like that? That's right. It was a voice. I mean, I mean, He's calling me. My son in whom He's I'm calling you? Please. He's calling me. Someone's being called. All right. <laughs> Dan's calling me. Dan's calling you, but Dan's right next to you. At, at the baptism of the Lord Jesus, where was the Lord Jesus baptized? I don't ask. In the in Jordan, Jordan River. River Jordan, all right. <laughs> And that's where heaven was open, and the Holy Spirit came out of the form of a dove, and there was a, a, a voice. voice. A voice from heaven saying, This, this is my son, my son. I'm well pleased. I'm well pleased. Yeah, Hear him. My beloved says, different, yeah. different times, different places, different statements. And so the Holy Spirit came with, <coughs> with power. Power, the Spirit of God. Then he, what it says here in verse 38, Lord Jesus went about, first of all, doing what? Good. What does that mean, doing good? Did he kill anybody? No. Like the no ISIS people, the Muslim people do, this terrorists? No. No. Doing good. See, does the Christian faith teach that we should kill people? No. What does it say even to our enemies? Love our enemies. Love our enemies. Do good to them. And do good to them that, dis that despitefully use us. us. That's right. So, but he went about doing good. Not, nothing he did. Now, did the Jews who crucified him think he did good? No. no. Why did they not think he was doing good? Because they didn't like what he was saying to the uh, leaders. Didn't like saying to the leaders. You know, uh, the, he wasn't going along with what you know the leaders wanted him to go along with. Did he exalt the leaders and say, "Follow those leaders"? Or do no. no. Okay. One place he said, 
do as they say, but not as they do. Remember, he said one of those places in the book of Matthew. But anyway, he went about doing good, not bad. What's the second thing about the Lord Jesus? Healing. Healing. How many? Oh, oh you're oppressed, oppressed of the devil. What does it mean, oppressed of the devil? <coughs> he was being influenced by the devil. In this case, the devil was in, making sicknesses and oppression and different difficulties, and they were probably possessed of the devil, and demon influence, the devil influence, uh, and heal those. Uh, remember the, the one of the men that was healed? Yes, Tammy. I just remembered, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a side note. Sorry. But um, we forgot to pray for Justine and her father. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, let's Justine. do that now. Pastor Dan, why don't you pray for Justine and her father, please? Father, we do ask that we would uh, help uh, Justine and uh, Brother John as they were there in Ohio. We do ask that uh, this uh, evaluation and this appointment that she has tomorrow will be uh, beneficial and that she would be able to uh, have her uh, proper medicine balanced out properly so that the seizures would be minimized throughout the day and that she would be able to um, have a more a productive day or not to be as sensitive as she is to the light of the seizures. We do ask that you give these doctors at uh, this uh, hospital, this clinic in Ohio, to have wisdom in knowing how to properly evaluate her. Give them safety as they return on, on Saturday. Help them to be alert. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. While we're pausing on that, I just want to remember too, uh, Father Bill prayed for Pastor uh, uh, Bennett. Uh, he's going to, he's mailed a DVD. He's going to be speaking to us with a DVD good. at the Dean Burning <laughs> Society. So that's good. And uh, we can look forward to that. It's going to be here any day. It takes a while to come from Australia. So, all right, verse uh, number 38. Uh, Pressed of the devil. In other words, the devil had oppression many times. Demon possession, devil possession. Then it says, for God was with him. In what sense was that true? Who's the God who's mentioned here? What's, what? God the Father. God the was Father was with him. Absolutely, with God the Son. And uh, does that mean the Lord Jesus was not God? Yeah, he no, was fully God. He was fully God and fully man. So he, God the Father was with the Lord Jesus Christ here upon this earth. Now some people, yes, Tim? But his glory was all, all covered with his human flesh. It was covered mm -hmm. and it was uh, so that we wouldn't be killed. You see, the folds of his glory, it would be, we would die just like the... Moses said, whose face shone when he was up on the mountain, he saw the, this is the hinder parts of the Lord, he was still glorious. So it was covered and, and helped so we would not be killed. He was glory. But he was perfect deity, no question about that. Uh, so we read 37, we read 39, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, of course. And uh, it says, We are witnesses. Now, who's the we refer to here? Who's talking? Who's talking here? here? Peter. Peter. All right, and he's talking to which people, what group of people? He must be talking about the Jews here. Yeah, all right, he's but who's talking he talking to, to here? Well, he's talking to the Gentiles. Who was the lead Gentile? Cornelius. Cornelius and all the many people who were there. See, he's talking to a lot of people. We are witnesses. Who's the we do you think referred to there, Peter referred to? The Jews. apostles? Well, probably the apostles, the Jews, the people that saw him, uh, the disciples, those that saw him. Uh, disciples? See, we disciples, probably disciples and apostles. Witness of all these things, uh, and uh, which he did. In other words, Jesus. he saw what were the things he did in verse number thirty-eight. Were the things that he happened? Did good. He did good. Healing of all he healed the press of the devil. God with him. Witness of these things. <coughs> Peter was a witness, and other disciples and apostles saw these healings as well. Did they not? Mm -hmm. Witnesses which he did in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. Now, in verse thirty-nine is a sad last part. Which is what? They were slow in hanging on the tree. Whom they, who's the they refer to? The Jews. The Jews. Right there in verse 39. Of the land of the Jews, whom they, the Jews, slew and hanged on a tree. Pastor? Yes. The Romans, the Roman soldiers that actually literally <clears throat> nailed his hands? Yes, that's true. Okay, so it wouldn't just that's be true. the Jews. Then. No, no. So there's a number of people that are responsible for his death. Yeah. Uh, in our but, yeah, class on Tuesday, yeah. yes. uh, we were talking about this very subject, mm -hmm. and uh, it was not only uh, the Jews who were uh, sent Jesus to the cross mm -hmm. and the Romans who executed him, 
but it is every one of us who yes. needed salvation. Amen. We died for our sins. Died in our place. We, 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 we are all guilty. That's right. But I think where, where I think where it says the Jews, who is the one that who are the ones that put the Romans up to it? The Jews. The Jews. Remember, here was Pilate. Yeah. And there was one that could be released at the feast. What did Pilate, who did Pilate think when they were brought and released? Jesus. They thought they were released, released because what had Jesus, Jesus done? Nothing, Nothing done. He could what did Barabbas? He was scared too. What did, yeah, what did Barabbas do? He was a murderer. Terrible. Thief. He was a but thief. you see, and the Jews are the ones, the head people told the people who were gathered there that day, let him be crucified. 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 So, it was the and Jews isn't there a verse up. about that? That I, I don't even have it, but something to do with the one that they pierced. They're going to like be they sorrowful about him whom they have pierced. They should look yeah. upon him when they have pierced. Yes, in Zechariah 14, I believe. Sorry. Yeah, something. No, in the book of Zechariah. So one day they will look on him who they have pierced. That's right. So, in other words, it was true our sins put in there. I'm sure the Romans, but the Jews were the action part of it. They said, do it, get rid of it. And Pilate washed his hands of it. He wanted to release him, and his wife said, I, think he, to do. I don't think he felt right about it anyway. No. But he had to, you know, kind of give in to what the yes. people wanted. Exactly. So, as the Jews, they, they slew, hanged on a tree. What tree was that? The cross. The cross. That's called the cross. Yeah, the cross. And uh, I'll just read verse 40, 41, and 42 together. Him and God raised up, up the third day, day and showed him openly. openly. Not, Not to all the people, people but as the witnesses chosen before of God, even to us, who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick and the dead. All right, verse, is, Anna? No, you read it. No, please read it. Is there something that someone said? You read it. You read it. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn Zechariah 12.10 Zechariah had the right book <laughs> Zechariah 12.10, thank you Anna. appreciate that now in verse number 40 him refers to who? The Lord Jesus Christ. God raised up, who's, who's God? Which person of the Godhead? First person. Father. First person, Father the Father, and first the Holy Spirit took part in the Lord Jesus himself. Remember, he said, no man taking my life, no man. I lay it down on myself and I have power. Lay it down and take it up again. So the Trinity, all Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, all were part, were resurrected. What kind of resurrection was it? Bodily. Bodily. It wasn't just the thought of the idea of the, the Spirit. But some churches there, they don't really believe the bodily resurrection, do they? Christian churches have these big resurrection days, big Easter days. Oh, he rose, he rose, but they don't mean bodily, just the spirit. But do they? Do the preachers tell the people that they don't believe bodily resurrection? Do they tell the people that? Do the preachers tell the people they don't really believe that? Who's the they? The, no. the modernist preachers that don't believe he rose? No, they don't tell them. They don't tell the people. No. The people just assume it's bodily, I mean, resurrection means uh, Ufstande, that's the, the German for it, standing up. Ufstande, standing up. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stand up. Some of, don't, some of the people don't think that deeply. That's right. And there's a Greek word, anastasis. Ana is again, it starts to stand. Standing up again. Standing again, that's exactly what it is. So raise up the, the third day. Now, we believe from Matthew, what did the Lord Jesus say about his bodily resurrection? As Jonah. Jonah was three, 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 three days, three, three, three nights, nights so the Son of Man, be three days, three nights in the heart of the earth. That's his, his burial. What now, verse is that? Matthew something. Anna okay. will find it for us. It's Matthew. <laughs> it's in Matthew. But the, now the three days and three nights, how many hours would that be? 72, 72 hours, isn't it? Now, what does the world think about that? Do they believe there's 72 hours? They think it's a fairy tale. Well, yeah, that's, that's they true. They do. They think it's just like Bible stories. They're not really real. But what is the timetable the regular churches they normally They say think? he was crucified on Friday and rose on Sunday. Is that 72 hours? No. No. Or Thursday. Or Thursday. Sometimes they say Thursday. So, well, what, what the, does the Bible for today say? 
24 hours. In other words, Wednesday was just Seven about hours, six right. o'clock on Wednesday night, crucified on Wednesday. Just there, just a little bit after Thursday would begin. See, the Thursday would show you how all Thursday, all Friday, all Saturday. Then after Saturday p.m., which is 6 p.m. on Saturday night, would be Sunday morning. See, that's where the church, so that's where we believe. See, Wednesday, very six o'clock, Wednesday night to Saturday was. So that's what we believe, you know, 72 hours. We believe the whole thing because that's what says the scripture, but nobody so must believe Wednesday. that. Was it? Was it? it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday night? Wednesday at the... Uh, at sunset? Buried at sunset at 6 o'clock. In other words, just he, a bit he, he Thursday morning. He died at 3, didn't he? That's, I think so. At three. The, 3. Yeah, at 3 o'clock. And so he was buried, and uh, the burial was... Thursday. It had to do before the, the Sabbath, before the next day, so it had to be sometime... Slightly just, before Slightly six. before 6 p.m. See? Is that what, yeah. you know, does that have anything to do with, um, like, Holy Thursday, Good Friday? Well, do you <coughs> see, that, those Holy Thursdays, Thursday. see, the, the world but is... But that's not, that's not uh, Protestant, see, that's, that's Catholicism. Well, and some, the some, idea some, some Protestant people, Protestant <coughs> people too. Right, over, right next door to us, across the street, Monday they have Monday Thursday. Thursday. See, they have a special Holy Thursday. Anna, you got it? Matthew? Yeah, uh, sorry, I was... Okay, here we go. So you guys don't have Holy Thursday. Um, yeah. Every day is holy to us. That's, amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah, I love it. Matthew 12. <laughs> Matthew 12. I'll read Matthew verses 12. 39 to 41. 12, 39 to 41. Or maybe, yeah, okay. But he answered and said unto them, <coughs> An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three... Days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. Very good, thank you, Anna. So that's mm -hmm. chapter 12 of Matthew. There you go, so three days and three nights. Now, when you go, see what they say, what is their rationalization <coughs> for Friday, Saturday, Sunday? What is their rationalization? Parts of three parts days. of this parts of that, but this evening and morning. In other words, three days and three nights. Is there anything partial about that? No, it that's complete. It literally doesn't add up. See, three, it yeah, doesn't three days, add up. Three days, three nights. It's got to be Friday, 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 Saturday. It doesn't add it doesn't up. Add, yes, Danny. Well, if if it was Wednesday, then Wednesday was Passover, mm -hmm. and then the next day was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Which would have been a holy convocation, yes. so they would have had a, very, would have been that Sabbath type of yes, thing. That's right. Um, and so they couldn't they couldn't uh, do any work that day. Right. So then the next Sabbath would be on Saturday. So mm -hmm. then you know then he rose early. Yes. I mean it would have been they could have missed anything after six after six, 6 p.m. Saturday, Saturday night. Yes, Saturday. that's right. Yeah. Which would be Sunday, a Jewish calendar. So he rose again for Sunday. And so just because they went early in the morning on Sunday. You'd already been raised, see, but they went early because that's you go in the light, you're up in the daytime. I mean, the night, the night, dark, you go in the daytime. Uh, so God raised him up the third day and showed him openly. How did God show the Lord Jesus openly? He went to the disciples. Like the disciples. He ate with the disciples. He ate with the disciples and he went to the disciples he went to the upper, first. Upper room. Upper room and had two different times. One of the Sunday night service, first Sunday night, second Sunday night. Who was absent the first Sunday night? Thomas. Thomas, okay. But all of them were there, except Judas, of course, who hanged himself. It was there. Now, uh, he, betrayed. he was a traitor, certainly was. So, uh, now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, who did the Lord Jesus show himself at that time? Above. Seven many witnesses? Above Wasn't it 500 at once. Remember that first Corinthians 15? About 500, many, many witnesses saw him after he rose from the dead. Remember that, chapter 15? Well, then there was. What verse? At the ascension, Somebody got to find that, I guess. At the ascension, yes. he, there were several people there. Yes. So the disciples were there. Too. Yeah, the witnesses were there too, that's right, absolutely. So about 500 brethren at once. So it wasn't just. Uh, Someone find that and read that. I want to get that. First Corinthians 15. Hold the place here. First Corinthians 15. That's too, uh, too important, I think, to, to stop. 15. It's at uh, verse 6. Read that for us, Tammy. After that, he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, 
of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. Some of us are st were still alive at the writing of the... Yes. And verse 5, it says, Cephas, and the 12, and above 500 brethren once. So he was seen of many witnesses in his bodily resurrection. Do the modernist liberals believe in his bodily resurrection? No. What do they say about these verses? They say spiritual. it really spiritually. It's just, it's just not, they're not true. They just don't believe it. Uh, but God showed him openly. Uh, did we read 41? We read 41, didn't we? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we read 41 and 42. Yeah, he showed Pastor, God. Yes, huh? Can you, <clears throat> do you have a listing of these churches? Or are these like. These are churches that obviously don't believe in the Word of God as being the Word of God that's the true Word of God? Mm hmm. Okay. Just about every one of them around. There are very few. So like others. you're saying Methodists? And... So a lot of Methodists. That's right. Yeah. A lot of Lutheran that crosses way there. I don't think they believe anything about the Bible. See, I'm not sure. Uh, years ago, the man used to have some semblance, but I think it's all the Methodist church down there, down the street, a couple blocks, used to believe the Bible. He used to have a Bible reading man. He was not a separatist, but he was a Bible reading man. Now who they got there, who knows? Bill, you went there. He saw the Methodist I, Church? No, yeah, he, before I went to the Methodist here. Church for yeah. a I went months. there too yeah. years ago. Yeah. And, uh, they sort of, they, they'll, they'll read it out of their NIV, uh, and then uh, they just continue on. They don't stop there. They don't explain anything there. They just want you to get past that subject altogether. Yeah. This was recent. See, that was recent. After that, all the other people had gone. See, Bill yeah. went about yeah. 10 years ago or five years ago. Well, I remember back yeah, in the 80s, years. they were like yeah. preaching a lot of like psychology and such. Yeah. They so, used scripture, but. A lot of these churches don't now. believe. Now, not to all the people, but witnesses chosen before God, special witnesses, <coughs> then even to us. Who's the us referred to, you think, in verse 41? The apostles. Apostles, all right. Eat and drink with him after he rose from death. When did that take place? Upper room. Okay, oh, that's yeah, one of the upper room. Where, where else? When they were, um, where did Peter say go fishing? fishing? Where did he go fishing? Galilee. Where was it? Sea of Galilee. And he took what, five or six with him. Now, some didn't go, but I go fishing. So they followed him. John and James, different ones. And uh, what did the Lord Jesus say at that time? Have caught anything? Caught anything? Where were they originally? No, that John said it is the Lord. Right, where were they originally? Where were they at this time? They were tired. The they were out all night. They, they, were, in like they were in the Sea of Galilee in a, in a boat, a little boat. And the Lord was on, on the land. On the land. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he asked the question, have you caught anything? And they said no. And John said what? It is, it's it, the Lord. It is the Lord. And what did Peter do? He, he immediately went to... He didn't he jump in the water? Jump in the water, swam right, got to shore. But he got his, he put on his overcoat or he, he took, whatever it was. I think he took off his outer garments. For, oh, to go into to the, water, the water. To get to in, in fact, the interesting scriptures use the word, for he was naked. That not mean complete, but I mean like in gym. See, gumnadzo, that's the word for gumnadzo. means like in gym. You're not completely well, naked, but you have a, lesser a, clothes. Yeah, yeah, you have your gym clothes. Outer gym time. clothes. See, the outer clothes are off. <laughs> so, uh, the but they ate and drank with him. Now, <laughs> was the Lord Jesus bodily with the disciples, or was yeah, it just yeah. spirit? Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. In fact, at the one time, uh, he told the disciples to do what? Touch me. Touch me, handle me. A spirit hath not flesh and bones as he see me in Flesh and bones. But at the, at the resurrection one, uh, at the tomb, Mary, Mary wanted to touch him and handle him, but what did the Lord Jesus say at that time? Yeah, that's not, I'm not going to ascend to my Father. He had to ascend to the Father, put the blood of the mercy seat of heaven. That's what we really was up there. And then he came back. But afterwards, handle me, flesh and bones. So, didn't say blood, but he said okay. flesh and bones. Yes. Pastor, so are you saying that he didn't have his glorified body, or was it a fleshly body? But glorified. I don't know. It was just glorified. You know it was saying? glorified, but it was resurrected body. Yes, he had a resurrected body. Yes, that's right. Was it, was it flesh and blood or a glorified body? Not blood, body. flesh and bones. You have to see me have flesh and bones to see me have. So it was a glor it was glorified. It was not it was the same body in which he was crucified, but yet it was completely transformed. And immortal and transformed, just like our okay. bodies once we get saved. And we got our new bodies that'll be transformed for living. We'll be changed from mortal to immortal. If we've been dead, 
incorruptible, corruptible to incorruptible. So in a moment, in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. Body. That's right. And the dead in Christ will rise first. So if I'm in the grave and you're not, I'll you're go before you. You're going to get before us. <laughs> if you said Anyhow, <clears throat> who Jesus knows? Jesus might come back anyway. We'll come back, come back anytime. <laughs> He's waiting for him. Amen. And ISIS is not <coughs> waiting for him, but we are. All right, so they ate and drank with him. Uh, now, did the Lord Jesus have to eat in order to sustain his resurrected body? No. 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 But at least he did show them he was real, and the disciples he ate, he ate, he ate with them. Drink. And uh, the, <coughs> he probably prepared he, he prepared for them. He was the cook, wasn't he? he around the fire. There, there were, he broiled the, the fish. The, everything was right there. <laughs> so it's amazing. Miraculous <laughs> Savior. Uh, then in verse, uh, then in verse four, we read 42, did we read 42? Yes, we did. All right, and he, what did he command, what did the Lord Jesus command? Who's the he referred to there? Commanded us. Who's the, the Lord he Jesus referred Christ. to? Lord Jesus Christ, who's the us? The apostles. The disciples and apostles to do what? Preach, Preach to the people. people. To testify, what does testify mean? Witness. Witness. That it is he, which was what? Ordained. Ordained to be what? God to be, to be the judge. judge of quick and dead. What does quick mean? Alive. 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 What does dead mean? Dead. 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 <laughs> so it's spiritually alive, spiritually dead. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, is there going to be a judgment of those that are alive, <coughs> saved, born again Christian? What judgment is it? It's the judgment of Christ. Judgment of Christ. Of Christ. Of Christ. Believers, souls are saved. That's there, the one where we're going to be judged on what we've done. What we've done for while we were here. While we were here. What about the judgment of the unsaved? What is that called? Great White Great Throne. Great White Throne. Who's going to be there? God the we Father. will be there with Christ. We'll be with Christ behind him. And he will be judging the, all the unsaved of the world. And they, what will their consignment be? <coughs> hell. And the hell itself. That's right. The lake of fire. It's a sad thing. But notice it's God that ordained him. The Father ordained the Son to be the judge of the quick and the dead. Remember it says in the, in the book of John, he has committed all judgment to the Son. The Father committed all judgment. He is the one that's going to judge. Here they have condemned him to death, they've crucified him, put him in the tomb. He's not going to be the judge of the whole world. Uh, is is there yes. anywhere in scripture where it actually talks about that in any kind of detail? Like what, how they will be judged? If you didn't believe in Christ, okay, you're going to hell, or is it like well, this is what you did in your life and all the sins, or do you know? Well, I think in, in Revelation chapter 21, is it 21, the judge, great white throne judgment is specifically mentioned. Uh, they're judged according to their works. And uh, whosoever uh, is not found written in the book of life is cast into the lake of fire. So it's according to their works. Now, they're all going to hell, those at the judgment, great white throne. But there's going to be gradations in hell, uh, different ones that still be there, but according to their works, just like in the judgment seat of Christ, there'd be gradations. Uh, because you've got three building materials that God likes, three building materials he doesn't like. What are the three that he likes? Gold, gold, gold silver, silver, and precious stones. What are the ones he doesn't like? Gold, 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 gold. So every man, according to his deeds, you'll be judged according to his, his deeds there too. Yes, Anna? It's, it's, it's the paper. Where does paper come from? Paper comes from wood. Wood. So, <laughs> what does this state of our mind mean? Monetary, or so-called monetary wealth. That's right, the paper. paper. Money, that's right. <laughs> Good point. Yes, that's right. Yes, um, that's right. I think I was going to say, in okay, there's hell, and so, like, say somebody, like, say Hitler versus, like, I don't know, somebody across the street who's uh -huh. know, Lutheran. Catholic, religious, yeah. Religious, but they do things that are wrong. So, in other words, they'll both go to hell, but maybe... Yes. That person, Different. like say Hitler, will go through more, more of a treacherous. Rigorous type so of there's thing. a lesser. Yes, I think so because it's, it says in the Book of Revelation they'd be judged according to their works. To their works. And so just like in the judgment seat of Christ, they'd be judged. Uh, hay, wood, and stubble will be the works will be burned up. They themselves will be saved, yet so is my God. <coughs> they'd be saved. They'd be going to heaven, but they will not have the rewards. That should be right. There's a degrees of punishment. Yes, degrees. That's right. Degrees. degrees. Of punishment. That's right. That's good. Remember, it says it's more tolerable for whom than for whom. Sodom and Gomorrah than for Tyre and Sidon. The people that the Lord Jesus talked to. Right there. <coughs> Did Sodom and Gomorrah didn't see the Lord Jesus. These people saw the Lord Jesus and they rejected him. More tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah 
than for these people who rejected Christ. So there's a degree. Anna. And we were saying right earlier, we were talking about how the people of Nineveh would rise up against the generation. Yes. At the time of Christ, because the people of Nineveh repented. Yes. So it's more tolerable for those people than it was the people here because they repented. All right. Uh, let's see. We that we're in verse 42. Let's pause right there, and we'll, we'll take well, that's up, Lord willing, <coughs> next next week. But do you have any other comments or questions before we close? Yes, after that. I wanted to, this might not have anything to do with it, but we talked about Jesus broiling fish and eating. Uh-huh. And it talks about the great, uh, the uh, supper feast of the Lamb. Mm-hmm. It says where we're going to be sitting down and eating. So mm-hmm. what do you think about that? Do you think we're going to be like eating food? Well, because it's supposed to be a feast. What is it? The marriage supper of the Lamb. Marriage supper of the Lamb. Yeah. Do you think we'll be eating like Christ ate when he was resurrected? Uh, It's entirely possible. I'm not sure just all the details, but uh, we'll look like Because I know there's other churches that do believe we're going to have a feast and eat together. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm sure that. I think it's uh, great. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, There's trees. I mean, maybe that's the millennial trees or heavenly trees, the millennial trees. All different fruits for the season. Yes. One tree is going to bear 12 different fruits. That's right. Healing nations. Healing nations. That's right. I mean, but so the nations much are here. we may not have to eat, but we could eat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we, 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 we definitely won't need to eat. We don't it's need it's to probably eat. just a celebratory, like, right. one that, time thing. That's right. It's not necessary. To, to but live there's a reason why right. like, he does mm-hmm. that. Right. Other comments or questions before we close? Let us close in. Brother Dave, you want to close the word of prayer for us? Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that we have the Word of God. Yes. We're so thankful that we are part of the church and we have been saved and that you are using us for your glory. And I pray that you would bless this church and guide it and direct it, Lord, and may it be able to continue to preach the gospel over the airwaves because I believe that... uh, that the government is going to try to um, stop uh, uh, the evangelization of the world through the church. And I pray that you would help uh, this church to be able to continue on. And we thank thee so much that we have the true gospel, that people need to be saved and that they will go to hell if they don't believe in Jesus. Yes. And that we who have believed are going to go to heaven and I pray that you would help us to be continue to be faithful to you and to serve you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming. <coughs>